Welcome to Grounding the SRX Series Services Gateway video. In this video, you will learn about the tools and parts required to ground the device, some safety instructions to observe before the grounding procedure, and step-by-step -step instructions for performing the grounding procedure. The goal of this video is to help you understand how to optimally connect the device's chassis to ground after it is installed. In this video, you will see the procedure for connecting the SRX 3600 Services Gateway to ground. This procedure is the same for all SRX Series devices. Let's look at the tools and parts required to ground the device. You will need a Phillips screwdriver, an electrostatic discharge grounding wrist strap or ESD wrist strap, and a grounding cable. You must ensure that a licensed electrician has attached the cable lug provided with the services gateway to one end of the grounding cable. Also ensure that the grounding cable specifications are met. Let's look at some important safety instructions that you must be aware of before grounding the device. While grounding the device, ensure that you wear grounding wrist straps to avoid ESD or electrostatic discharge damage to the components in the device. Do not wear jewelry or accessories such as watches while grounding the device, because metals can cause burns and injuries. As a best practice, always ensure that the device is properly connected to earth ground before you connect the power. Follow these steps to ground the device. Attach an ESD grounding strap to your bare wrist and connect the straps to one of the ESD points on the chassis. Place the grounding cable lug over the grounding point. Ensure that the other end of the grounding cable is connected to proper earth ground. Secure the grounding cable lug to the chassis with the screws and tighten the screws with the screwdriver. Congratulations, you have now learned to successfully connect the device to ground. Thank you for watching. To learn more about the SRX Services Gateways, please visit our technical documentation page.